other friend knows me as Oroku Saki. But you may call me the Shredder. Hey, what's going on everyone? Good to see you. Today we have the Tracer Pack Shredder Bundle from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. This was totally unexpected from everyone. As far as I know, we all wanted John Wick collab, but maybe one day, maybe one day. Anyway, so this guy right here is a unique model with his own custom voice lines. The model itself is a reference to the 90s Ninja Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, and he sounds very similar to the actor from the 90s version of the movie. So Call of Duty has done a very good job in respecting the nostalgia from the past. Onto the weapons, we have the Oroku KV broadside with red traces and claw slash impacts with a death effect called Clash Trash Flurry. You also have the Saki ISO hemlock with the exact same thing. The Steel Claws, Dual Kodachis, which doesn't come with any special effects, unfortunately. The... These, these names are so weird. The Utrom Tank, which doesn't look like anything special on the screen, but in-game, it's pretty much a Platinum Tank. The Shred em Up Finishing Move, which comes with something very interesting that hasn't been done in Finishing Moves before, which I'll show you soon. The Foot Clan Weapon Charm, the Shredded Large Decal, and the Shredder Emblem. Taking a look at the camos, nothing really stands out when using the completionist camos, which is unfortunate, but it happens with most of the guns. Now, as I was saying, look at this beast right here. This thing is pretty much a platinum tank. It looks badass. I don't know what the hell these green bottles are at the back of the tank, so if anyone can give me some kind of Ninja Turtle lore down in the comments, I would appreciate that very much. Now, listen very carefully to this finishing move. I expected a challenge. Yep, so this finishing move plays music. It's not something everyone is going to notice since I'm sure a lot of people turn music off, but it's still a really cool feature to add. The devs are putting a lot of effort into these new bundles, which is a really good sign for seasons to come. So, what do you all think? Is this bundle worth it? Is it worth the costing price of 2,400 COD points? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Make sure to give this video a like or else I will execute you in Warzone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.